Hello and welcome to the third episode of The Hallows at Noon. I'm, <laughs> I'm your host, Liam Noonan, and I'm joined with my co-host, Rocky Hallows. How you doing, everybody? Happy holidays. <laughs> and today we would like to talk about some Thanksgiving traditions, you know, some holiday tra- uh, traditions. And the WWE, it's some WWE stuff, right? Yes, we have the results of the Survivor Series 2020, as well as a reminder that within the next week, it's time for NXT to War Games. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing this a little bit differently. We would usually record at Rocky's house. But my mom is currently baking a lot of things for Thanksgiving as we speak, and I didn't want to get in her way today. Yeah, so we're... Everyone be safe with... And a side note, everyone be safe because COVID is resurging, unfortunately. So everyone get tested, use plenty of hand sanitizer, wash your hands, six feet distance, and be safe. Friendly reminder. (laughs) Yeah, so we are recording this episode over Zoom... And not who, sponsored. Yeah, not <laughs> sponsored. Yeah. I wish... I wish we were sponsored by Zoom, but we're not. No, and, but I also have one more announcement. Um, yes. So, recently my, boy, my boyfriend and I just broke up, so now the, and the channel is no longer called The FN. Now it's just Rocky Hollows on YouTube. So look, so now we're easier to find, and you won't look find a machine gun when you look, at, look us up. Hmm. <laughs> All right, st- just a side note. Everything. So, fine. so who knows? We may be on camera. We haven't talked about this yet. I can sense of my her beautiful face be- and complexion being used. Okay, <laughs> that's good. That's good, right? Yeah. So, um, to start off our show, I would like to. Go over some um, Thanksgiving Day traditions. I've now most of you probably have heard of the Thanksgiving Day Parade, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition. Yes, I've been there once back in 2011, and I had I had a lot of fun. Um, and this year, what you may not know is that it's just going to be completely televised. There's going to be on NBC. There's not going to be any, um, fans in attendance all due to the surge in coronavirus cases. It's so sad because this year's been so challenging, but at least it's not canceled. Like, you know, how Pride 2020 was. The yeah. whole New York City Pride Festival, worldwide, all that worldwide stuff. Everything has been ruined by 2020. But so at least like we can't complain that it's on TV because this is a yearly Thanksgiving holiday tradition to kick off, kickstart the holiday season. That and hearing that stupid Mariah Carey song 24,000 freaking times. Yes. I swear to God, that song drives me completely bonkers every year. And we need a new holiday song. To all you artists who are hopefully, hopefully listening to this, look at my face, who are hopefully listening to this podcast, please, even if you're Josie Dunn, please put out a new holiday banger that will knock that off the charts. I beg of you. Yes. We, we recommend... The Season of Romance by Leanne Womack. I also um, recommend Holidays, the new single by Josie Dunn. Mm-hmm. So, really so whatever, whatever, however you're going to do it, just do it. Just do it, Atlantic <laughs> Records. I know you have the talent. I know you have the power. Just do it. Also... <laughs> Also, kind of another thing that came out of 2020. I got this brand new t-shirt. Oh my god, the peak shirts look so good this year. Yeah. I work 
I work at Amazon uh, part time, so I think they're celebrating their 25th peak this year. God, please don't order from them. Please, <laughs> please don't order Amazon. We beg of you. It'll literally clog the machines, and it, you will literally hurt, possibly cause injuries with all the packages. I beg of you. Yeah. Don't Amazon. Go support your local businesses this Saturday on Small Business, business Saturday. Business Saturday. Especially. Saturday, uh, you know, November 28th, this Saturday is Small Business Saturday. Go out to your neighborhood and go support your local businesses. My local business I love is Matt in, in uh, on Long Island, and my hometown is Madison's Niche, and I totally recommend it if you love those cute little gifts for your mother. Really for mother. Such a nice store. I really recommend it if you live around Garden City. Yeah. It's especially, there's probably not going to be that many people there anyway because of the pandemic. So. Yeah. So I guess in a way you can't avoid it going on Amazon. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Or Walmart. No, actually, no. Screw that. Go to Walmart. <laughs> yeah, go to Walmart. I don't Walmart. care if there's a Black Friday wa- riot. <laughs> literally, uh, literally, like. So anything but Amazon, you will literally be killing everybody this year. It's already bad enough. I'm literally like getting all these ideas and none of you are going to listen to me anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Amazon is just going to reign supreme. Sad. I'd rather use Quibids.com or like Ali- even Alibaba at this point, eBay. Mm-hmm. Any- literally anything but Amazon at this point. Mm-hmm. I I bought a movie poster off of eBay recently. I should have waited until they had a, a Black Friday sales because I I spent like forty bucks on it. Yeah. Because it was it was a big poster frame. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah. And those... just to remind you that most a lot of stores are going to be closed on Black Friday actually. No, yeah. not on Black Friday. Sorry, on Thanksgiving. I'm actually looking them at, up as we speak. On Thanksgiving. Okay, yeah, I'm looking this up. So some stores that are going to be closed on Thanksgiving, but all but a bit but open on Black Friday, are going to be like Walmart is going to be closed on like Thanksgiving. Um, as well as Target, Kohl's, Macy's, Home Depot. Yeah, Macy's. Even on the parade. Yeah. Home Depot, Mm -hmm. Club, Walmart, Costco, JCPenney, GameStop, Best Buy, and Lowe's. However, some stores that will be open on Thanksgiving would be CVS Pharmacies, Rite Aid, Big Lots, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Whole Foods Market, Bass Pro Shops, Walgreens, and Cabela's. Yeah, so they're probably uh, getting ready for the COVID situation on Black Friday. So that's yeah. probably why they're closed. Yeah, I know um, also apparently Office Max and Office Depot and REI and all Simon Property Malls, including Result Field, will be closed on Thanksgiving. <laughs> my, my friend literally just be like, oh, when I said that. Like, uh, well, it's probably the worst place to go on on Black Friday anyway. It will yeah. be open on Black Friday, so you can still go get in your all your hot topic essentials that day. Lamps Plus is also closed on Thanksgiving. I didn't even know that what the heck that is. And some place called Belk is apparently also closed on Thanksgiving. Oh, I think they're in Florida actually. Mm. Boss Bobs too. BJ's is closed on Thanksgiving, so you can't even get your last second turkey. BJ's Tulsa Club. Yeah. It, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. But if you really want to make that day matter on tomorrow on Thanksgiving, spend it with your family around the TV watching Santa Claus and all the floats and fun musical acts and performances on during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Macy's may be closed, but the parade is nuts. Also, so, another and clowns and fans and groups and balloons ready to entertain you from the yeah. safety and comfort of your own home. Also, also another way to celebrate positively is to celebrate with first responders on Thanksgiving oh, who, yes. might, who might not 
be able to uh, celebrate with their families at home. That's so true. So um, try to bring them some food so that they could celebrate with their coworkers. We thank you, first responders. Yes, we do. Uh, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> first responders were so like cons- were so praised this year that this year's Hess toy truck model is an ambulance for to praise the first responders that showed up when no one else could. Yeah. That's this year's Hess, Hess toy truck is an ambulance in respect for the first responders. Yeah, so if you want to make a positive change, you know, um, go to your lo- local police precinct or your fire department and bring them some of your food. Yes. Okay, so... Show them your Hess toy truck this for the 20th Yeah, days. buy them... Buy them a Hess soy truck. Yeah, that's where to go. <laughs> okay, so the next tradition that I have on my list is the traditional turkey dinner. Mm, so good. Like now, um, with the COVID, uh, with the COVID still ravaging the United States. It is, it is advised that you stay home in particular and don't have like a huge group, more than 10 people celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't think it's legal to have more than 10 people without being arrested or something. Yeah, in, in New York State, it might be. Yeah, I know Cuomo is definitely cracking down on that stuff in New York. Mm-hmm. And he probably has things given with his money. Yeah. He probably won't even do that. Yes. Yeah. We're looking at Cuomo like being criticized for not want for not having Thanksgiving with his own mother. I'm uh. Step down, Cuomo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, he he takes COVID nineteen seriously. <laughs> like, like he's really yeah, he would go over the summer and crack down on parties of people without masks so mm-hmm. it's out if it's outside like i mean there's fresh air when you're outside so it should be at least at least a little bit more acceptable than an indoor party at an abandoned warehouse yeah you know I mean? yeah Catch my yeah yeah it, if it was at an indoor warehouse you would have to wear your mask but if it's outside, then you could probably get away with not wearing a mask just to make sure that you're six feet apart. Um, six. Yeah. Six, six, six feet apart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah. 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 And on that note, you shouldn't really be traveling to celebrate with your family. Um, have a real um, unless you have a valid place to sit. That's six, six, six. Feet yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sorry>. Or <laughs> if you're hosting Thanksgiving outside, or if you have all your windows open. You can have like you can have a max of ten people. Yes, and if what worst comes to worst, you can always have two separate, two or three separate uh, Thanksgiving dinner tables in the house, in your house, like in different rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So. Same like gathering, just different rooms, different tables. Yeah. And another, one of my last tradition on Thanksgiving is that you don't talk about politics. You don't, uh... We're not after this election. Yeah, you don't bring up the pandemic. (laughs) You don't bring up anything that may cause stress. You can just... Yeah. 
you could just go and watch Thanksgiving Day football with your or family. Recap, or the 2 p.m. recap of re- rerun of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, also on NBC. Yeah. Or you could, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., I believe. Or you could watch the the dog show that's after the yes, parade. Yes, from 12 to 2. Yeah. Yes, from 12 to 2, it's the, Na- the Purina National Dog Show, hosted by John O'Hurley, presented by Purina. Yeah, NBC. so... This is like... And these should be paying us to promote this. Thing. And so should Macy's and Purina. I swear, uh, we should be sponsored. We're literally giving them viewers as we speak. I'm guaranteed. Yeah, but... Yeah. I don't have that big of a channel, so... Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Someday. Never give up. One can only dream. Yes. Um, Definitely don't bring up politics at the dinner table, especially if you're my Aunt Linda. I know she's probably on the CIA watch list because of stuff like that. <laughs> we love you, okay. Aunt Linda. I love you. <laughs> All right. So on to the next topic. All right. Which was the next topic? The holiday songs? Yeah. Listening to Christmas music. <laughs> if don't, you... Do not, whatever you do, don't spam that Mariah Carey song unless it's that ma- mashup that they're doing with the Cardi B's WAP. Oh. All I want for Christmas WAP <laughs> is a great freaking song featuring Mar- Mariah Carey, Car- Cardi B, and, and Megan Thee Stallion. So it doesn't involve WAP with that song, I don't want to hear it. And didn't I don't even Me- want to hear that Justin Bieber rerun. Didn't that. Megan Didn't Megan Thee Stallion get nominated for like her first Grammy? Oh, for yeah, best, yeah. best new artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love her music. As a matter of fact, she just dropped a brand new album called Good News, and I totally recommend the song that she did with SZA. Hmm. But yeah, anyways, uh, listening to Christmas music early can actually harm your mental health. It really can, because when you hear too much of the same song, you literally want to rip your car radio out and then throw it onto the nearest interstate. And All then, I want for is, just ran over by a truck. Sorry, and then it I, gets it gets worse when the stores play it in God. their on their stereos. I swear, if I, my friends, uh, my friend Etn in Montreal he works at Dollarama out in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Yeah, I can every single time. He has, he hears that Mariah Carey song, he literally wants to take a shot. Every time. And that's like six times a day. It's like drinking game behind the scenes. Like, uh, you know, it's so bad. Like, it's not a bad song, it's just way too overplayed. And someone needs to take down Mariah Carey. Yeah, she releases it. She releases it every year, and there's no changes to it. Like, it's so basic. Yeah. Please, like, please just change up a little bit. Do something to it. Also, a little bit. But anyway, this is just annoying. Yeah. So like, we have some brand new original holiday songs. Now already, like already, an artist like Josie Dunn already released a brand new song that she released called Holiday, and Poppy released a song called I Won't Be Home for Christmas, and it's kind of edgy. That sounds awesome. So anyways. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listening to Christmas music can actually cause distress and eventually lead to boredom. Like, you don't hear this new songs that... You don't hear new songs. You hear songs that are already released. That were ye- released years ago, and then there's all covers because nobody's original with Christmas. Yeah, music. like there's music anymore. There's Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, which has been around for 50 years. Lame. There's also uh, Frosty the Snowman. Boring. Again, around for about 50 years. Um. I kind of like the Peanuts ones, you know, oh, yeah, those, those oh Christmas trees. trees. Yes. Uh, that, that's, 
That's kind of beautiful. That's that's good. The Vince um, grew up. You know that ser- that whole special's been around for at least fifty five years now. Yeah. Um, speaking of the peanuts, uh, their Thanksgiving special is going to be on Apple TV tomorrow. I think. I think it should be on ABC Seven, like it usually is. Like not everyone can afford Apple TV Plus. So yeah. Sorry. So like, the fact that they're only streaming it like that, like that's very, very messed up because not everyone can afford that premium crap. Like I don't and have an iPhone. Lacking, yeah, and with the lack of original programming that they have, it's really kind of just a waste of money. Like if it was on a Hulu, like if they released this on Hulu or Disney Plus, I'd actually, you know, I'd actually pay for yeah. that. I'd actually watch it on there. But yeah. the fact that it's an Apple TV Plus, which is not only known for technology and phones and Steve Jobs, literally, there's a- yes, yes, I see my friend has a poster up there. <laughs> but yes, like the fact that there's just such, there's nothing special about Apple TV Plus. There's nothing special about that program. Uh, you, you cut out. You muted. You muted. Sorry, my ex was called me. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. My ex just tried to call me, and I'm not in the mood at all. Uh, yeah. Um, but like, there's nothing special or or nothing special or extraordinary about Apple TV Plus. So why would I buy it? Like, there's yeah. no like at all. Yeah, and I don't have an iPhone. I don't have a Mac MacBook Pro. <laughs> Me neither. I, I can't get into my iPad because it's disabled. Mine's and... disabled. Yeah. It got hit. It actually got ran over by a car once and the screen was unrepairable. Like, unable to repair. Yeah, I have to hook mine up to iTunes and figure it out. And I was like, I don't care anymore. Me neither. I'm going to stick to my Netflix, my Hulu, my WWE Network subscription, and my Apple... And no, not even that. I don't care. I hate that. And my yeah, swimming, I, and my Disney Plus account. <laughs> I'm sticking to all of those. Yeah, I just all I really wanted to see is, is if you work, if you turn on. I don't really care. I don't really video, you know. If I got I have my to update it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plus, there's also songs where, like, baby, it's cold outside. Sounds like a rape. That song always, I look at those lyrics and I'm just picturing that this is them trying to use holidays to promote rape and, vi- and sexual harassment and violence. And it's messed up. Yeah. Like, you can clearly tell, like, the girl in the song is trying to get away. You can clearly tell she's trying to leave. And. And no yet need she's. To leave, gentlemen. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. No, ladies and gentlemen, because. I swear to God, it's like everyone thinks they have an excuse, and there's no excuses because we're all equal gender. There's no excuses. No means no. So I don't care if you're a man or a woman or non-binary even. No means no, no matter who it is, or no yeah. matter who it is trying to do. To, so to do it. no. That's so song, basically. No. Basically, we're saying F. Mariah Carey's song, All I Want for Christmas is You, and Good F, mm-hmm. Baby, It's Cold Outside, you should, listen that to the, you should listen to The Season of Romance by Leanne Womack. Yes, or literally any new song that you, just keep an eye out on the holiday charts for any new songs. Spotify has Friday morning releases, so keep an eye on that. I also highly recommend, uh, Love you more, love you even more at Christmas time by Kelly Rowland of Destiny's Child. That song just gives a vibe and it just feels like home. Debuted it in the last year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, so this year I'm actually excited to see who recreates traditional Christmas songs. I know Diana Ross sang Chris- "Wonderful Christmas Time" and I do love that song. <laughs> Who's performing this at the parade tomorrow? I know. Uh, I know, it's gonna be like the usual acts that you can easily book, like Baby Rexa or Pentatonix or Sophia Jimmy, Carson. Even. But Jimmy it's also Fallon. Like, 
If we found the roots, of course the roots have to be there. Quest love. Um, but they also have, um, they also booked Latin group CNCO. They grew, they booked Tori Kelly. I haven't heard her name in a while. Uh, Jordan Sparks. I know, uh, I had like written down who was going to be in it. I forgot who else. Uh, oh, Dolly Parton's going to be in it actually on the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store float. I love that restaurant. And there's new floats but, yeah. that are published by Ole Cosmetics. Uh, the Tom and Jerry movie that's coming out next year, um, they made a float for that. Um, oh, oh, um. Jenny, o Tur- Jenny O'Brien Turkey has a float. And there was like a fourth one that I forgot about. Uh, I forgot what it was for a second. Uh, speaking, speaking of films that are coming out next year, there's a Clifford the Big Red Dog film. No way! I did not know about that one. It's that, gonna be. I that I need to see. It's gonna be in live action though. Why do I feel like it's gonna be Cloverfield, but like with Clifford? <laughs> you know, it'll be like giant dog, and it, t- it tries to destroy the city. And it's instead of, but instead of it being a traditional Godzilla figure, it's gonna be giant Clifford. Yes, no, I Clifford think. Field. Clifford Field. That's got to be like, they got to do that in Hollywood. That's got to be a thing. You know, like the Cloverfield thing. Yeah, you know yeah, I know. yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I know. Kind of like Godzilla, but with a giant dog. But yeah, from what I saw and what I remember, it looks pretty faithful to the source material. <laughs> um, I'm a little there's, there's a boss baby balloon. That they're displaying tomorrow. Oh yeah, my um, friend Alex is excited for that one. He likes that movie. But there's also going to be one that's related to Ryan's tour review. Yeah. Red Ninja thing. The red. Yeah, the furnished Red Ninja. Yes, furnished by Pocket Watch. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. there's going to be the casts of the Broadway musicals. Ain't too proud. The Life and Times of the Temptations. That's a good one. Hamilton. Hamilton, yeah! Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm excited for. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen Hamilton on Disney+. Plus. I love it. That's probably why it's there. They're promoting it again. Yeah, probably. Uh, there's going to be the cast of Mean Girls. Ooh, and... they're back again. Weren't they there lot, like two years ago with Tina Fey in the back, behind the scenes? Yeah, I think so. Oh man, and, I loved it. They had waitress. That was a great one. And the cast of Jagged Little Pill. Ooh, isn't that a isn't that a song by Pink? No, it's uh, based off of the album by Alanis Morissette. That's what I meant. Sorry, yeah. I was thinking for a sec, but yeah, it's Alanis Morissette. I loved her. I love Alanis Morissette, and her music is always going to be classic. To me, it's always let, like that. Yes. That is going to do the status, yes. Of course, ironic. Ironic, ironic is like I one of the best songs just ever. <laughs> uh, plus, there's also performances from the Radio City Rockettes, uh, yes. Jimmy Fallon and the Roots, the Patty cast LaBelle. of Muppet, Sesame Street. Yeah, the Muppets of Sesame Street, yeah. uh, Dolly Parton, Leslie Odom Jr. Mm-hmm. The original Broadway cast member of Hamilton. Uh, he's got a Christmas album coming out. All right. Uh, uh, LMA, LMA. Yeah. Who made that song "Glued Up" and the, her most recent song, "Not Another Love Song." Uh, BB oh, Rexa. I, yes, BB Rexa. Carol G is going to be there, and I, yeah. I really think she performed "Tusa," the one with Nicki Minaj. That's that's one of my favorite songs that came out of this year. Uh, Jordan Sparks, she's performing tomorrow as well. Oh my god, I love Jordan Sparks. She's um, so unbelievable. Yeah, there's there's Sebastian Yatra. He's a Latino singer, I think. Okay. And Brett Young. I think he's um, a country. Yeah, he, he sounds like a country singer, so. Brett Young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Plus Miss America, 
Camille Schreier will make an appearance along with Santa, of course. Yes. Um, he must always be in the Macy's parade. You cannot yeah. have the holiday season start without Santa Claus on that slave boat. So, returning balloons. Astronauts. Sponge. Yeah, SpongeBob. Astronaut Snoopy. The Sinclair Oil Dino. Elf Rod on the, the show. Sponge. Yeah. Uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The Pillsbury Doughboy. Uh, Chase from Paw Patrol. Oh my God. Smokey the Bear. Yeah. Uh, go Bowling Balloonicles. Oh, yeah. Hug. Bjorn, Jojo, and Fleck from the Christmas Chronicles Part 2 on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Uh, Love Flies Up to You, uh, to the Sky by Yayoi Kusama. Oh, yeah. Yes, from the Blue Sky Gallery. That's a special artist piece balloon that they usually have one artist balloon every so every so often. And that balloon actually couldn't soar on the parade last year, so they're yeah. making up for it this year. And... Uh, the Nutcrackers make a return and Trolls from the DreamWorks movie. Yes, they, uh, to promote the new Trolls World Tour movie th- this year, as well as SpongeBob yeah, but... Sponge SquarePants with Gary to promote the SpongeBob, mo- SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run, which releases next early next year on CBS All Access in the, Uni- in the United States. Yeah, it was supposed to come out this year. Yes, but and of then course. Pandemic. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be on Netflix in every other country but here, and but in the U.S. it's supposed to be on CBS All Access. Hopefully, one of you all of you know how to use Footlocker.com or or ExpressVPN. <laughs> yes, that too, because and I also know that they're having a new SpongeBob spinoff also early next year yeah. on CBS called Camp Crawl. Which goes against the w- last wishes of, of Steven Hillenburg. No disrespect, but yeah. Yeah, the movie, the new movie, is supposed to be like a backdoor pilot to Camp Corral, something like that. Yeah, I've actually have seen the uh, version of it because my friend from out of this country had shown me it on a stream. Yeah, and it does have a few flashbacks to that will open the door to Camp Coral. Uh, it's actually really adorable. I can't have to t- say that it's actually going to be look. Re- if it looks anything like I saw, it's going to be really adorable, and I would probably recommend it had it not been against Steven Hillensburg last time. Wish not to do that. Curse you, Viacom. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> there's two new balloons uh, for 2020 which is the Boss Baby and the Red Titan from Ryan's World. Finished by Pocket Watch. Yes. I swear, Ryan is so overrated. Oh my goodness. And he has his own Hulu show. I swear. Presented by Pocket Watch. Oh yes, and his own Nick Jr. show, Ryan's Mystery Playdate. Yeah, and... I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I saw this Eddie Burback video where he goes deep into who funds Pocket Watch, and it's Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man is like one of his biggest investors. Uh-uh. Girl. Uh-uh. Why? First of all, Ryan, there's nothing special. He's just a little kid. Exactly. Like, that was back, like, kids can dream, but I would say my, I didn't have, when I was little, what even was a toy review? When I was little, you just played with the toy. Yeah. Yes. Had fun. Have fun with your friends. Now it's all big deal. Oh, who's gonna get famous next for doing absolutely nothing? Joseph yeah, who's famous for nothing? All who's famous for nothing? Who's gonna top the Forbes list of 100 social media influencers this year? I know. I I want to be, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Don't have I, enough. I, I wish. <laughs> um, Everyone. Rocky Hollows on Instagram at Rocky Hollows. Go um, subscribe to Rocky Hollows on YouTube. Yeah, we're gonna make original po- content that involves gaming. Enjoy. Yeah. It. Go there um, and enjoy. 
Uh, another return, returning balloon. Another returning balloon, sorry. Pikachu. I was just yeah. thinking that. Yeah, he will have his own team of Pikachu dancers. Wait, what? Yeah, there's... That's amazing. Yeah, reportedly. With That's a team so cool. of cool. Pikachu dancers. Oh my potentially, God, awesome. all potentially to make an announcement or to tease an upcoming project. Another Pikachu game. I mean, Pokemon game. Pokemon or, Let's Go Eevee. Or maybe <laughs> a sequel to the Detective Pikachu movie. Hmm, that, that could came, be it. That was pretty good. I haven't I seen didn't it. See it. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. I hear it's pretty good. Let's have a watch party. <laughs> yeah, yo, Liam, you and I will have a watch, a watch party one day. We'll watch it's, it. We'll it's on HBO Max because it's distributed by Warner Brothers. I don't have that, and I kind of want it because I want to see Adventure, Li Adventure Time Distant Lands, their series that they adapted from Cartoon Network. I really want to see Obsidian, the Adventure Time uh, Distant Lands special. Yeah, plus I've got a, a whole bunch of classic movies on there as well. So. I would totally get HBO Max, but I can't afford it right now. Yeah, me too. I'm fun employed. But no, I'm actually kidding. I'm just taking a break yeah. from work for school. And from Amazon. I might not even come back to I might not even come back to Amazon in spring. I might just be an Instacart shopper. Hmm. Like I I know like I have an inside source. I know what's going on back there, and it's not cool. Y'all yeah. need to get a union. I swear, y'all need to get a union. So come back to the union. Yeah. We were we were actually talking about this earlier. Uh, the new floats. This year include the turkey brand Jenny O's Big Turkey Spectacular with mm -hmm. uh, BB Rexa, that's a staple for the parade. Mm -hmm. um, Olay's new float, her future oh. is STEM stational. Yeah, because it's to promote, to promote young girls in science. Yeah. Kudos to Olay Cosmetics and Unilever for making that a huge thing, a project. Like that. That's a really empowering message. Who's on that float? Who is on it? Um, it doesn't say. It just... Wait. Yeah, it just say... It just says Olay's... Her future is STEM stational. Lifetime to Christmas. And, and then it goes, it goes on to... The Lifetime channels... The Christmas in Town Square... Uh, float to promote... Their new holiday movie coming out. Oh, yeah. They usually have, like, a holiday special to compete with, you know, like, you know, uh, with Freeform's The 25 Days of Christmas. Yeah, and Hallmark's <laughs> Christmas. Yes, Hallmark from the holidays, right? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't get it with all these straight-to-TV Christmas movies because they all sound the same. And they all they all have the same actresses, and they all have the same plots. Um, and so to wrap up, the the list of new floats is a Warner Brothers Pictures float for Tom and Jerry's Tourist Trap, Actually, which I saw a picture of it. It looked awesome. I I haven't seen it because I've tended to stay away from. Um, Macy's.com. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I. That's what I use for. Uh, it should say what float. Who's on what float for that? Actually, on mm. that Macy's website. I know Dolly Parton for fact is going to be on the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store float. Home. Uh, you know, home sweet home. Whatever. It yeah. Was. But yeah, Tom and Jerry's Tourist Trap is is a new movie that's coming out from Warner Brothers. It's coming out next year. I want to see it. I don't know about y'all, but I want to see it. I think that has, uh, what's her face? Uh, oh my God, I knew her face, like Chloe Grace Moretz. I think that's her in the movie. Okay. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm like looking it up. 
Yeah. I could have easily looked this stuff up before, but I didn't think to. Yeah. I mean, you guys were building a, a Minecraft house before this. Yeah, we really made an, we made an amazing house on here. Yeah, it is Chloe Grace Moretz. Like, literally, it's like, you know, future boyfriend house check vibe. I can really show you guys a picture if I turn my camera around, which I can. Right Oi. here. Yeah. This is the house that we built. It's nice. It's a nice house. Yeah, and he's on camera now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's the house and that's the news. So Everything, no but the holidays, right? The parade then, Yeah, the parade will air from 9 a.m. to noon. And a second time from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. both on NBC. Check your local listings, everybody. NBC and Telemundo will Oh yes, be Telemundo and Espanol. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, just remember, don't go to Herald Square on 34th Street. You will be escorted away by the NYPD. Okay, yeah, because they're not going to have any no um, audience. No, so don't go there. If you live in the New York City metropolitan area, you can't use that as your annual tradition this year because it's closed off. Next year, everybody. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so Hopefully sad, next but... year. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Everyone yeah, enjoy that Thanksgiving. If you're a rebel and you cut the cable cord, um, you could also stream it on the on Macy's YouTube. website and on YouTube or Twitter. Yeah, you can go on YouTube to Verizon's official YouTube channel for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade 360 experience. I am also yeah, like- assuming people will randomly stream the NBC telecast as well because the Rebels also. Yeah. Yes, those heroes. Um, but yeah, like definitely check out the Verizon 360 stream. I know they're going to be promoting it like crazy. Yeah, they're going to really be promoting it, it tomorrow. Awesome. Especially on NBC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, who is hosting the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? Oh, I know. Uh, I know. The uh, usual. Be, yes, Savannah Gun 3, Hoda Kopi, and all the way from the uptown to downtown, Al Roker. Al My Roker. <laughs> I love Al Roker. Back in ne- now back in your neck of the woods. <laughs> um, Adamari <laughs> Lopez, Rodner, Figueroa, Jessica Carrillo, and Natasha Bolivar. Will host for Telemundo. Oh uh, yes, for Telemundo. I forgot. Not everyone can watch an NBC. Not everyone watches an NBC. Yes. And not everybody speaks English. And Mario Lopez is hosting the Verizon stream. Oh, I love Mario Lopez. That guy's awesome. Yeah. Did he host that show Candy Camp Crush on like CBS? Oh yeah. I see. I. Yeah. See. Um. On that show. NJ.com. The website that I'm using for my information, they just uh, posted. They posted a picture of the Tom and Jerry float. It looks so cool, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna share my screen so that you guys can see it. A picture of the float or a blueprint? Uh, the the float. Oh, so it's an actual picture of what it looks like IRL. Yeah. Yeah, it's like finished and everything. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Can you see yeah, it? it? No, it says Leon. It says you are start. You have started screen screen sharing, but it's not letting you see. Oh, hold on. We have to turn it sideways. Oh yeah, now I see it. Now that I turned it sideways, can I see it now? Yeah. That looks amazing. Seriously, like Macy's Parade Studio deserves more credit than it gets. Like yeah. that looks incredible. And they also have um, some other pictures as well. Yo, this looks awesome. That looks so cool. So this is supposedly the OA stem sensational float. That looks so cool. We're literally both looking at the 
Like, yeah. yeah. I think that's the OA float. This is the Tom and Jerry one. So, yeah, here's. I'll show you the Tom and Jerry one. One more time. America. Yeah. Oh my That's god, nice... they have like life size Tom and Jerry costumes. Yeah. Oh. I want to just point the tail. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That looks awesome, though, for real. Um, what else? What else? What other pictures do we have? Uh, this is the Jenny. turkey float. Wow. Jenny O went all out. Especially yeah. Especially with that they're tur- they make turkey, I feel like they're going to get a lot of sales, not only because of the float, but also because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and the price of turkey being so cheap because of the pandemic. Nobody's going out to buy enough, big enough turkeys for 40 people. Right. Mm. Makes sense. <laughs> look, look at this. That's the boss baby. Balloon, That's the huh? boss baby. Baby float. No. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a balloon. Interesting. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. That's all they have. That's all the pictures that they have on NJ.com. That's pretty cool, actually. Like, some nice looking stuff out there. Yeah. Definitely. We're definitely in for a great show from the comfort of all our own homes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So I think I think that's the end of my half of the episode. Then we're only need fifteen minutes to at least only I need only fifteen minutes for what's what the, what happened in Survivor Series. And my my credit for today's source is CBSSports.com with all the results of Survivor Series 2020, which took place on from 7 to 10.30 on Sunday, November 22nd. That was in 23. Right. <laughs> that didn't happen. That was today. Uh, but yeah. So it all started with the traditional men's Survivor Series elimination match with AJ Styles, Keith Lee, Ron Strowman, Matt Riddle, and Sheamus representing Monday Night Raw. Versus Kevin Owens, Jay Uso, King Corbin, Seth Rollins, and Otis representing SmackDown. Now, Team Raw is always de- always defeats Team SmackDown, except for last year when NXT showed up and beat everybody. <laughs> and that comes to the show because Team Raw decimated Team SmackDown 5-0. to zero. The match was great B, and we all saw it coming, I'm not gonna lie. But SmackDown quickly redeemed themselves with the next match, which was the Tag Team Championship showdown between the New Day representing Raw, Biggie, you know, Biggie and Co- and, uh, not Biggie, sorry, Kofi Kicks and Xavier Woods, I forgot the Biggie was there. Oh, they entered with Biggie, though. And, and they were wearing their Gears of, Gears of War costumes to support their appearance in the video game. Now, representing SmackDown was the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Street Profits, who defeated who defeated the New Day via pinfall. Street Profits are Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, and they want the smoke, and they got the smoke because they won. <laughs> so now the mid-card championship match was next, which was representing Raw was the U.S. champion Bobby Lashley, which, who was backed up by the Hurt Business, versus Sami Zayn, representing SmackDown as the Intercontinental Champion. Now, knowing the Hurt Business and how they pull strings to ruin people's lives, Bobby Lashley defeated Sami Zayn via submission. Yep, we knew where that was coming. Me, so average. Uh, next up was the Women's Championship match, which was one of the re- only ch- matches I really cared about, to be honest. And it was uh, the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka, who faced Char- the SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. This match actually had me on the edge of my seat, and him too. <laughs> we both kind of watched it. It was the first date. It was definitely a pay per view, and it was really exciting. I'm surprised I actually got to watch it. To be honest, <laughs> yes, yeah, Sasha Banks 
proved herself to be the ultimate legit boss and that she was ready for Asuka when she defeated Asuka via pinfall. The CBS Sports ranks at grade B+, plus, but I have to say that was A, an A match. An A plus match. Not an A, a, a plus match, but A match. Yes, rated A. And then it was the women's traditional Survivor Series elimination match, 5-on-5, five five, representing Monday Night Raw, was the un- irresistible force, Nia Jax, the, qu- the submission magician, Shayna Baszler, the sassy Southern Belle, Lacey Evans, and the iconic Peyton Royce, and Lana, who went through a table at least nine times before this match from Nia Jax herself. Seems like Raw really could pick their talent a lot more better with this match because I could tell the chemistry was way, way off for Raw. And it came to sho- push came to show shove because Raw kept coming off. Raw literally kept fl- dropping like flies. But then so did SmackDown because you had Bailey represent being the team captain. Now, SmackDown was represented, uh, like I said, by Bailey, by the Bailey, by ba- the Bailey, <laughs> uh, by Bailey, who nobody likes, the the Queen of Hearts, Natalia, third generation superstar, the EST of WWE, you can't whoop me, Bianca Belair, she goes here now, and both Ruby Riot and Liv Morgan, aka. The Riot Squad. <laughs> Gotta love the Riot Squad and the chemistry and what they bring, the fire they bring to the table. I was shocked that Team Raw defeated SmackDown. Like, Lord, like that match was insane. Like, my I was on the edge of my seat that entire time because I really was looking forward to Bianca Belair whooping everybody because she goes here now. But in the end, it was Lana who who won because Nia Jax and Bianca Belair, both on Raw and SmackDown, were both eliminated via, via countouts. The only person left standing was was Lana in the end of Raw. Who saw that coming? I didn't see that coming, but I knew that Lana was getting a huge push from WWE. And then the final match, the final match of the night was Roman Reigns representing SmackDown as the Universal Champion versus Drew McIntyre representing Monday Night Raw as the WWE Heavyweight Champion. The winner of the match was Roman Reigns of SmackDown via submission with the guillotine stroke. Grade A plus match, I definitely have to agree because that match was definitely big enough to be a main event. But that wasn't the last thing that happened during Survivor Series. Y'all may know the, you know, the Hall of Famer, everyone knows this guy, the Undertaker. Well, tonight, well, that night was the final farewell of the Undertaker's long reign and career with the WWE. So a lot of past superstars made an appearance to see him off, including Shane O'Mac, Shane McMahon, The Big Show, JBL, Jeff Hardy, Mick Foley, The Godfather, The Goodwins. Savio Vega, Rikishi, Booker T, Kevin Nash, The Heartbreak Kids, Shawn Michaels, The Nature Boy, Woo! Ric Flair, Triple, The Game Triple H, Hunter, and his brother Kane all entered the ring to start a segment which ended up being a huge clip show, video package clip show showing the whole career of The Undertaker before Vince McMahon delivered a brief message about the phenom's contributions to the company before introducing the dead man himself. Now, as usual, Undertaker made a very slow and very fashionable entrance to the ring and made his final farewell statements. But in the end, but after he said his final rest in peace, they showed showed a holographic image of the late Paul Bearer, AKA, if you may know him, the mortician. Yeah, so that guy, I'm pretty sure he died, but I'm not sure. I think he, I'm pretty honestly sure he did. Hmm. But at the same time, this was a long time coming for The Undertaker to finally retire, and I'm really glad that he went out in such a spectacular way. And that was definitely a must-see moment for, you know, WWE history. 
yeah, that's plus, how like, you know, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I hear that The Rock was there also to celebrate. I did, I did not hear that. I don't think but so. You have an announcement also regarding WWE. Okay? Yeah. You ready for okay. this? Mm-hmm. So, as usual, NXT TakeOver in the month of November usually has NXT TakeOver WAR GAMES! But this year, it's not going to be in the same weekend. It wasn't the same weekend as Survivor Series. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This year, it's taking place Sunday, December 6th. And there's going to be a huge match between Shotzi Blackheart and Candice LeRae. Actually, wait, no. Forget, forget that. It's Team Shotzi Blackheart versus Team Candice LeRae in NXT, as an NXT Team War Games match. Now, Shotzi Blackheart is definitely my pick to win this one. Shotzi Blackheart is a rebel, a huge rock and roll influencer. She's definitely not afraid to be herself, and she drives a freaking tank to the ring. What does Candice LeRae have besides pint-sized pixie? Really? You can bring your Indy Hartwell all you want. You can bring Dakota Kai. You can bring no matter no, whoever you heck you want. Actually, I'm curious. I don't know who the team is. Actually, I actually want to know who who who's on Shotzi's team and who's on Candice's team because I'm curious right now. I'm I'm very curious. I'm looking this up as we speak because I love War Games. War Games is incredible. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely supposed to be Team Blackheart, which is Shotzi Blackheart and three other superstars, which are TBA, and team versus Team Larray, which is Candice Le- a heel team of Candice Larray, Tony Storm, the yes, the chiropractor Dakota Kai, and Raquel Gonzalez. Now, if I had, I don't know who's gonna be on Shotzi's team, but if I had to guess, it's probably my predictions will probably be uh, Tegan Knox, Rhea Ripley, and oh man, who would be on their team as well? That's also a face. I might, I had to either say K- Casey Catanzaro or Kaden Carter. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one. Maybe two. Or maybe both, because they're Team Ninja and they're inseparable. Either I don't know about the other matches, but keep them keep posted to WWE or WrestlingInc.com for news about NXT War Games 2020. Now remember, just remember one thing, and that's War Games 2020 will be held Sunday, December 6th at 7 p.m. on the WWE Network. Free trial for 30 days for your subscribers. Nice plug for WWE Network at the end. Yes, to promote this crap. Yes, right now. Fuck it. <laughs> NBC, Macy's, um, Purina, Purina, uh, Book us. DreamWorks, <laughs> Viacom, WWE, Olay, Universal Olay. Pictures. We all need Universal Pictures. Sponsors, we need sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Express VPN. Yes. Uh, Footlocker.com. <laughs> Minecraft and Mojang for that Minecraft promotion. We, okay, we need to have like sponsors. I swear. This, you know, no, you know, you know, we have one sponsor. You know what the sponsor? This podcast is sponsored by. This podcast yeah. is sponsored by my p- potential future boyfriends. Jesse! (laughs) And the house we made, sponsored by that too. (laughs) (laughs) That's a a different bat, honey. Yeah. (laughs) Alright. I'm sponsored by my ex boyfriend, Tom. You know who you are. No disrespect. You're awesome. Keep on climbing, bro. Yeah. And it's sponsored by Amazon DMY4, whether they like it or not. We met there. Yeah. That exact spot, that's what sponsored this. Yes. Even even though we may say that we hate Amazon, you know. I may be on it a lot, but it's actually not too bad of a job when it's not, you know, peak or COVID or Prime Day or the holidays in general. Yeah. 
It's not that bad. Not as bad as most of my things. We're just, just, we're just really good at complaining about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Amazon. I know Amazon's hiring because I saw a commercial the other day. Oh man, good luck to you guys at peak season. You guys got this, all right? Tell Thanks. the team for me. Yeah, tell yeah. the team for me since I can't make it. Tell them I said, and even if they're watching this, you guys got this. We've done peak before. Y'all, you guys have done. The, you guys got this this year. Good luck to y'all. All right. So, mm -hmm. to quickly wrap this up, I think we should f uh, baby. It's cold outside, and the Mar Mariah Mar Mar Carey. Yeah. Yes. 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 Screw Mariah Carey. All I want Shop for Christmas Amazon. is you. Yes. Um, screw Emma. Through Amazon, go to Target instead. I love Target. Support your you local should, business this Saturday. You should definitely watch the parade. Watch uh, everything you. after the parade. Mm -hmm. Um, you should stream the season of romance by Leanne Womack. Mm -hmm. As well as um, those days. Yes. You should watch the NXT. Event NXT that's take over war the games. war the war games war and games and play Minecraft and play Minecraft yeah. and enjoy your holiday season. I think I think me. I think we've said enough to try to get the sponsors. Yes, yes, we need sponsors. If you want to sponsor two awesome do awesome two awesome legit bosses and do and two awesome dudes. Who just want to be famous one day? Support the Hollows at noon. We will literally kiss your feet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Maybe, maybe we. Maybe we start a Patreon. Yeah, we could do that. Actually, we could do that. I don't yes, know. Maybe. Go fund me. Um. Maybe. If I don't <laughs> include. Uh, copyrighted music into this. I might get paid. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, anyways, I think that's it for this episode that we wanted to talk about. Yeah. Um, you can, yes, you can follow me on Instagram and YouTube now, both at Rocky Hollows. My YouTube channel is also called Rocky Hollows now. It's no longer the FM. Yep. <laughs> It's no yeah, longer the. You, it's, can you, find you? Uh, you can find me on this YouTube channel, Liam Dominic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on my Twitter page, uh, Liam High School One. I think that's the Twitter handle, and at my Instagram on at Dog Possessed. That's right. That's right. And you can't find Jesse because I saw him first. <laughs> <laughs> you go <look> kiss fast. <laughs> All right. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe so that we could Fair go. Man. So that we could go um, celebrate Christmas with our families, at least. At oh, wait, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully 2021 will be a better year. We all praying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Bye. That's about it. Bye, guys.